I'm not sure if you guys watched me do this video. Put a rubber roof on this thing. You remember that? It doesn't even look the same, does it? No, sir. It sure doesn't. It doesn't look the same at all. And we did the underpinning. We used hardy board on the underpinning. We set the hardy board in a piece of plastic strip all the way around before we put it up and we painted all edges. We built the framing out of treated two by fours. Painted the hardy board using uh, oil-based paint. We did not use a water-based paint. We used an oil-based paint. Yeah, this place came a long way. So we're going to put a couple of vents on this thing today. That is today's project. Yeah, I just finished up. They totally finished yet. We've got bathroom over there. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this bathroom. Beautiful. Look at there. Looking good in here, buddy. Big difference. What's this room going to be? A little bedroom. It's going to be a bedroom? Yeah. We'll put one of those accordion doors right here. Yes. And yes. that's over there. Yep. And then... Uh, yeah, because I like it. Come out nice. Orig originally, I said yes. We're gonna leave because that other one that that toilet is. Yes. Was right here. Yes. This walls here. That's right. And she was like, "Well, can you, if you took it." <laughs> For you that have been watching my videos, I'm sure you remember this place very well. Look good. Come out really nice. This was the uh, one of the windows that they didn't rem that we removed but we put back in they wanted that window so we kept it remember we removed the gables completely rebuilt them and metaled them back in that's a little screen porch working on we did all the underpinning friend of mine came in and did the siding. I didn't do it. Oh, looks like he's been underneath. I thought he had a door made, but apparently he didn't. He came, he went under there for some reason. Let's take a walk on the inside. Paul and I came in here and the first thing we did was the roof. Tore the roof off and gave him a brand new rubber roof with the overhang like we do. We did all the underpinning. And we came in, did all the floors, removed all the floors actually, and redid them. This is what it looks like now. Still a work in progress. They changed the door frame. The bathroom was right here. There was actually a closet and a dresser type thing built in there. We ended up ripping it out later at their bathroom. So this is their remodeled 1970s. mobile home yes it's old you know the floor is still a little bit uneven working on cabinets not pretty nice actually remember the bathroom here had the bathtub over here we removed it ripped it all out they had a hot water heater back here it was we replaced the entire floor in here They put a bathtub in over here to the left, and it was over there. Really, really, really turned out nice. Beautiful. There used to be a doorway. Nope, that wasn't the one with the doorway. But anyway, this is what the place has came to so far. They're going to have an island that comes out here. That's gas for their... For something. Or water, I'm not sure if that's water or gas. Probably water. That's water for the sink. That's right, the sink's gonna be in the island. 
but I think it turned out beautiful. Like I say, still a work in progress, but what's this taking them? This, they're working on this now for two years. A little bit at a time, they don't live here. So they come down, work a little bit, go home. Come down, work a little bit, go home. Today's project is... Remember, we put that rubber up here with the overhang. I think we do. Test the porch. Rebuilt the gables. Rubber roof, but doesn't have any vents in this thing. So we are going to cut a hole here, which I've already started. And I'm going to cut a hole down there which I'll start next. And we're gonna install these vents. So if you wanna know how to install a vent on your house, this can be used on a roof or a flat roof or a single roof, doesn't matter. We're gonna put this vent right there. Put another one just like it down there to vent this attic a little bit better. The ventilation used to be on the gables but we reframed the gables, tore it all out because it was rotted because it got wet because of the ventilation that they had actually on the ends. So stick around. I'm starting the hole here. What I did was I cut a, a small hole to make sure there's no wires down there. Now I'm going to make it that size right there. And we're going to make sure that the inside of this is stuffed with screen. If it doesn't have a screen, you want to stuff it with screen so bugs or anything doesn't get in your attic area. So let's go. I'm gonna finish cutting that hole to the size we need. I have that hole cut. That hole cut. We do not want to attach our roof jack to that nastiness. So I'm gonna wash it. Wash it off. Make sure it's good and dry around the area. Cause you're not wanting to try to cock your vent down to trash. This one's been cool sealed, so this has a cool seal. Is all you're looking at is a cool seal roof. Cut a hole in it. There you go. Clean it up. There you go. That's gonna go right there. We're gonna caulk underneath it. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. Clean it. Get it ready for caulking before you screw it down. The next thing you're going to want to do is go buy some of these at Lowe's. Inch and a quarter hex quarter inch driver see you can get five sixteenths a quarter inch these are quarters i like them what's the reason why you need to use these is see that little rubber grommet on there you're going to want to have that between the metal and the screw this is called a um metal to wood screw so you're screwing through metal into wood and that's what the screw is for And then you're gonna need some quality polyurethane sealant, it's good, roof flashing. And what you're gonna do with this, make sure your roof vent is very dry. You're gonna put a seal here on the inside, and then you're gonna come out here to the outside, put a seal here, and then you're gonna screw it down with them screws all around the outside of that thing. You'll put a screw here, here, one in the middle, in the middle, there, Middle, there, middle, there. It's octagon. Every octagon point has a screw and one in the middle. Easy, guys. You can do this on your trailer. If you don't have enough venting and you need vents added, this is a simple project. You need a skill saw, some screws, a caulking gun, and some vents. Now, these vents came without screen. It is important that your vent has screen. So we're going to go down and just get some of your standard screen and we're going to stuff the inside of both of these full of screens so no bugs can ever get into the attic area anyways that's going to be it guys i'll put these on and i'll see you in a minute you'll also probably need a drill with that bit i use this beautiful craftsman i love it 
there you go. This is what I recommend. It's just taking a screen and stuffing it. It's all the way to the top. You don't want any bugs going in there and into your there attic. You go. Now you have two layers of protection around here. This is getting stuck literally to the school seal. So you want to make sure that you have them two beads and then we'll start screwing here in a minute. And there you go. After you apply the sealant to the bottom side, you're gonna wanna, if it's octagon, screw every point. Every point. And then the centers. Very easy. Mobile home roof vent install. Super easy. Cut the hole, like I said, with a skill saw. You can cut a square hole. Clean it up around it. Stuff your vent with screen or whatever. Make sure nothing can get in it. Screw it down after you put the sealant on the bottom and you're done. Anybody can do this. The only thing I recommend is when you're cutting through the roof itself, whether it's metal or plywood or whatever you have to cut through, make sure that you set your saw shallow so they're not cutting very much through everything because you never know what's underneath there. It could be wires. You don't want to cut a wire. Then you're going to have to do more work. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys not a quick video, but you know, somewhat of a video so you can understand how easy you can put one of these on your roof, on your mobile home, wherever you want it. This particular roof is a mobile home and it was vented on the two ends of the house that was it and then they had that regular insulation that runs in there it's about an inch maybe thick um on top of the sheetrock or excuse me <coughs> right underneath the metal on this one i made a video of this place when we put the rubber roof on it but anyways uh yeah that's the way it was and um that was the only vents that were on this thing so we did have airflow through here but the vents were rotted so bad i ended up replacing the complete gables on both of this uh, ends of this mobile home before we put the rubber roof on it you can go back and look at them videos about two years ago you'll see a picture probably of this mobile home and us working on the underpinning so go back and check out them videos if you want to that's the underpinning and then the rubber roof with the overhang and then the cool seal now we just added a couple vents Talking to him about this, if he feels like he needs it, he can put more vents up here. He does have a dehumidifier running inside of this place year round, 24 seven. And um, I recommend that for anybody who has a mobile home to get a dehumidifier and run it inside their house because moisture just happens in the attic areas, in the floors, and this dehumidifier will draw all that out. Anyways, not to go on and on. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. If so, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.